Greetings and kingdom blessings to uh, Facebook family. God bless all of you. I just wanted to come on here for a little bit uh, to share a few things uh, with you uh, concerning the spirit of Gaza. Uh, I believe many believers are dealing with this in one way or another. And I just wanted to encourage you today uh, to, um, uh, you know, <clears throat> receive the deliverance uh, from this spirit of poverty and this place of strong will. Amen. Uh, so by the grace of God, uh, you'll get some deliverance today. I'm going to pray for you. So uh, as the other uh, people come in, please share this video as well. But we're going to do some deliverance uh, after uh, when I teach, after I teach. Amen. So God bless again, all of you. Please share this with your friends. Please uh, share this. OK, with all of your friends. Amen. Please share it. All right. God bless you. Uh, so let me pray. Father, in Jesus name, I thank you, Lord, for the power of the Holy Spirit. And yes, even the anointing and that your word is already anointed in Jesus name. I pray that the spirits of poverty, mm -hmm. lack and stagnation shall be destroyed through the power of the blood in Jesus name. And I decree that the spirit of Gaza is blocked and bound from its assignment in the lives of your people in Jesus name. The Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable under thy sight. You are right and strength and redeemer in Jesus name. Let everybody say amen. Amen and amen. Judges chapter six. I'm going to go to Judges chapter six. Everybody just say uh, deliverance from the spirit of Gaza. Amen. Deliverance from the spirit of Gaza. All right. This is a place of strong will, as I said, uh, that uh, keeps you from breaking through. It, it continues to have you in a spirit of lack, stagnation, poverty, bondage, uh, living check to check. Amen. So uh, we want to break uh, these yokes of these curses. Uh, I'm going to Judges chapter six, Judges chapter six and verse one. I challenge you in your quiet time at I get off of here to read this uh, text in its entirety. It'll bless you. Amen. Judges chapter six and verse one. Uh, and one of the things that leads us in a place of bondage is doing evil and in cyclo, cyclical sin or, you know, rebellion or stubbornness or just doing plain, flat out evil. Amen. Sometimes it launches us into a cycles of poverty and it withholds blessings. Amen. Some of you, this may not be your, your issue. Uh, it may just been an all out attack from the spirit of Gaza. Amen. So let me, let me read this to you. And, uh, Judges chapter six and verse uh, one, Judges uh, chapter six and verse one. And it says, then the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord. So the Lord delivered them to into the hand of the median for seven years. And the hand of the median prevailed against Israel because of the Midianites. The children of Israel made for themselves dens, caves and strongholds, which are in the mountains. Amen. Now, this represents high places. I'm going to break this down to you. Mm -hmm. Greetings to all of you that are coming on. Come on in. God bless you. God bless you. Come on on. And please share this with your friends. Okay. Please share this with your friends. God bless all of you. Greetings to you, Sister Star and Brother Jose and Brother Philip. God bless you. Blessings to you. Uh, we thank God for you joining the broadcast today. But let me finish this. Amen. It says, so it was whenever Israel had sown the Midianites would, Midianites would come up. Also the Amalekites and the people of the east will come up against them. Then they will encamp against them and destroy the produce of the earth as far as Gaza and leave no sustenance for Israel, neither sheep nor ox nor donkey, for they will come up uh, with their livestock in their tents, coming in as numerous as locusts. Both they and their camels were without number. And they would enter without number. Uh, it says, well, wait a minute. Both they and their camels were without number and they would enter the land to destroy it. Are y'all, are y'all with me? So Israel was greatly impoverished because of the Midianites and the children of Israel. They cried out to the Lord. Amen. Amen. And, and so the, the reality is you represent the spiritual Israel today, the believer. Many believers are struggling uh, in some form or another with this spirit, okay? 
God bless you, Sister Star. But many are, are struggling with this spirit. Amen. And we're going to do some deliverance after I finish um, uh, teaching on this. And remember uh, this, this word. I want you to remember the spirit of Gaza. Remember the spirit of Gaza means the place of strong will. Amen. And this is a, a spirit. Uh, now, let me give you some history. Hold on a minute. Let me give you some history. OK, Gaza was the first uh, tribe connected uh, uh, to the, the enemies of Israel, the Midianites and the uh, Amalekites. They, they were the first ones that attacked Israel when they after the exodus, when they got delivered. Like now, let me give you a picture today, 21st century today. All right. So many times we've gotten saved. We, we came to Christ. There's been an exodus. Uh, we're in Christ. But that spirit of Gaza refuses to let uh, you go. So you've got a measure of deliverance. You in Christ. You receive salvation. Amen. But there's still some poverty and lack. The spirit of Gaza refuses to let you go. Gaza, even this day, is not allowed in Israel. It's, I think, west or east of the Mediterranean. But Gaza oppressed Israel. They attacked Israel when they first came out of their exodus. Amen. Amen. So y'all stay with me. Somebody say deliverance from the spirit of Gaza. All right. One of the first things we got to do is repent and renounce any evil in our lives. Some are bound with rebellion, stubbornness, uh, and even rejected God. In this particular passage of scripture, you will see that God did not send a deliverer in to deliver the people. He sent a prophet in. This is what the Bible says to give them the voice of the Lord. Amen. And to remind them of everything that he had done for them because they had rejected them. Somebody say deliverance from the spirit of Gaza. Amen. Now, let me describe the Midianites. The Midianites in this particular, the Bible says that they were turned over to Median for seven years. The Midianites um, ran uh, the, the, the Israelites or ran the people of God. Many a time this spirit chases the believer. It runs them into caves, to strongholds, uh, demonic mentalities and poverty is a mentality. It just manifests naturally in your life, but it's a mentality. Some of us need a generational curse broken of, of poverty. All right. Some of us need deliverance from this spirit. And again, I'm going to pray for you. This spirit of Gaza is cyclicals of uh, patterns of 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 lack, stagnation and poverty. Amen. But this spirit of Gaza, again, it means a place of strong will. And we're going to lose some fire to the walls of Gaza. Amen. We're going to lose some fire. Now, remember, this will join Israel together. This was uh, it, it'll join them together. But listen to me, um, this, uh, uh, the, the people there attacked Israel, impoverished them. As you see in this scripture, they didn't have no sheep, no donkey, no, no livestock. It stole all their subsidence. And the Bible says in here, whenever they sown, this is in verse three. So some of us, whenever we sow, and so this is not the time to uh, to keep your seed or eat your seed. This is the time to sow if you're facing these challenges. Because, listen, even in this time, the Israelites still try to sow. Amen. But the Midianites came and destroyed their harvest. Are y'all listening to me? Y'all stay with me today. I, I want to want you to get this. And some believers are in caves. We're in dens. And listen, a cave is a place where you are. It's dark. It's nasty. It's dirty. And it's a place where we are in dire straits. Some of us, Jezebel has ran us into the cave, too. Are y'all listening to me? I'll, that's a whole nother teaching. I won't go there. Y'all y'all stay with me. I won't go there. But listen, again, Gaza is a place of strong will that we must break. Off of your life. Also, Gaza was the place that had an Egyptian center uh, where they uh, they uh, controlled many a times uh, politics, and many a times it was a struggle and and a fight with the government or exchange of authority. Are y'all listening to me? All right, stay with me. And so remember, um, 
Besides the spirit connected with Gaza and the Amalekites, the Amalekites in this text were the first to attack them after they break through. So sometimes this is the cycle of it. You break through and then an attack comes. You break through and then an attack comes. All right. Now, listen, the Amalekites were the first one of the first to attack uh, Israel when they came out of bondage. Now, let me go and show y'all this again. And in verse two, so we need to renounce and repent of some of the evil. And some of us need to forgive and release some people too. Are y'all listening to me? The Bible says, and the hand of Midian prevailed against Israel because of the Midianites, the children of Israel, I'm reading in verse two, made for themselves dens and caves and strongholds, which are in the mountains. Now, some of us uh, continue to dwell, dwell in the high places. The mountains represent a high place. This is demonic. You need to be broken out of that high place uh, where there's poverty, where there's lack, where there's disdain, where we're feeling vexed. Are y'all listening to me? Y'all stay with me today. Many of us, many believers in our ministries, uh, many leaders need deliverance from this spirit of Gaza. Are y'all listening to me? This spirit continues to fight. And the Bible says in verse 3, So when it whatever Israel had sown, the Midianites would come up, and also the Amalekites and the people of the east, these are demonic spirits, will come up against them. Now, these people in the east, they when, when the Israelite people came into Canaan, they controlled a part of that region. It's a place where they would not let them break through. They, these are the spirits that fortify against you, that keep you for your promised land. Canaan represent the place of the land of milk and honey. And even locusts came in. I'm going to finish reading this, uh, and I'm going to talk about the locusts, but they kept them from their breakthrough because they wanted them to yield to their customs, which was pagan worship, immorality. Are y'all listening to me? And and to, to, to yield uh, to this spirit. Also, listen to me closely. The Midianites mean strife, confusion, and contention. That's what the Midianites mean. So some of us need to get free from strife. In contention. Look in verse 4. It says, Then they would encamp against them and destroy the produce of the earth as far as Gaza. All right? Now, listen to me closely. And remember this. Let me share this. Let me throw this in before I get. Remember, even Samson, Samson's vision and eyes were plucked out and he was bound in Gaza. So the vision, some of us, the vision of our ministry is plucked out. We're in a place of Gaza. Also, he was chained and bound and in bondage in Gaza. In Judges chapter 16, 21 through 31, go and look at it. I don't have time to go there, but this very thing happened to uh, Samson in Gaza. Amen. Let me finish reading. It says, then they will come up against them and destroy the produce of the earth as far as Gaza, and leave no sustenance for Israel, neither sheep, nor ox, nor donkey, no transportation, no fruit for their work, their labor, no place to go. Listen, they have been ran out from their dwelling. Now, let me give you the 21st century, the 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 the, the day-to-day or 21st century revelation of this is that some believers or some people, they're from place to place, they're place to place. Now, remember, remember too, that the Amalekites was a nomadic spirit along with the uh, Amorites or a vagabond. They're place to place, and they hang around in the mountains. They're mountaineers. Are oh, y'all listen to me? In the high places. So some need deliverance. Uh, from even the Amorite spirits and the ites, I did some teaching concerning the ites and the demonic altars. You can go to Touch of the Master HMI.org and you can get that teaching. If it's not on there, just go to PayPal and uh, you know put in there what you want, and we'll send it out to you. Amen. Some solid teaching. Amen. Uh, concerning the ites, uh, but many of us again need deliverance. From the spirit of Gaza. So we're place to place. No place to live. We never can get settled. Okay. Because this is a nomadic spirit. They're place to place. You know, losing their home, losing possessions, nothing to drive. Uh, you know, all of this type of stuff. No livestock, no provision. Are y'all listening to me? It says, look in verse five. 
for they will come up with their livestock and their tents coming in as numerous as locusts. Locusts, by the way, locusts come in and they eat away at your foundation a little by little. It's what the locusts do. They eat away at it little by little. And it says both, both they and their camels were without number and they would enter the land to destroy it. So sometimes we say, Dag, I just can't break through. It's one thing after another, Apostle. I just can't break through. Amen. I just can't break through. It seems like every time I sow, every time uh, I get some kind of breakthrough, I, you know, something is being withheld. There are barriers. And remember, there was a wall at Gaza. Okay. Amos 1 and 7 talks about fire being released, released to the wall of Gaza. Remember, this is a place of strong will. We need to release fire and, and burn up that wall of Gaza, that, that barricade, that fortress that is blocking you and those limitations. We have to break out from the limitations this year. Amen. Y'all stay with me. It's time to break out for the limitation. You need deliverance from the spirit of Gaza. Amen. And look what it says here. So it says, so Israel was greatly impoverished because of the Midianites. You see this? Because of the Midianites. Remember, they mean strife. They seduce. They, they bring confusion, pagan worship, immorality, and they seduce you. All right. Cycles of sin, cycles of bad habits. Are y'all listening to me? Cycles of carnality. Amen. Amen. I, I know I ain't going to get a bunch of amens on that. Amen. Y'all stay with me. It says, and it came to pass when the children, I'm in verse seven of Israel cried out to the Lord because of the Midianites that the Lord sent a what? Prophet. He didn't send uh, someone to bring the deliverance. He sent a prophet to speak to them, to the children of Israel who said to them, thus says the Lord God of Israel, I have brought you from Egypt and brought you out of the house of bondage. And I've delivered you out of the hand of the Egyptian and out of the hand of all who oppressed you and drove them out before you and gave you their land. And also I said to you, I am the Lord your God. Do not fear the gods of the Amorites whose land you dwell. Now remember the Ammonites, they were encamped in the promised land, a place of prosperity. Some of us, we need deliverance from Amorites because they keep us from our promised land. They keep us from breaking through. Amen. Please share this with, share this with um, your, your friends on Facebook, please share this, share this with your friends. Amen. We're going to pray in a second. Amen. Some of us need to be delivered from this poverty spirit. We can't break through. Amen. Are y'all listening to me? Y'all there? Amen. Stay with me. How about some hearts? How about some thumbs up? Amen. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. Let me finish up and we're going to pray. God bless all of you. It says, now the angel of the Lord came and sat under the terrible tree was an offer which belonged to Joyce the uh, Bezerite. Okay. Why son? Gideon threshed the wheat at the wine press. I want y'all to read this in its, in, in, in its entirety. Now the prophet was sit in, okay, because the people of God, and like sometimes we do, we don't want a prophetic word. When we're in uh, rebellion, rejection, they have rejected God. And they begin to compromise with the Amorites that were in the land with them. Amen? Are y'all with me? Say no compromise. You need deliverance from Gaza. Amen. Amen. And so God wants to deliver you from the, the pagan worship. Uh, maybe it's uh, a career. Maybe it's whatever you are putting before God. He wants to deliver you from that. Some are in, in debt. Uh, they're engulfed. I'm sorry. In sin, cyclical patterns of vicious behavior, bad habits. You need to be broken out. It's affecting your finances. Listen, Gideon at the end of this in verse 14, Gideon was uh, called to deal with them. It says, I'm just going to go down there and read that. And you read it to 14. Then the Lord turned to him, to Gideon and said, go in the might of yours and you shall save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have I not sent you? So Gideon was raised up with an apostolic mandate to deliver the people. Amen. He was raised up as some refuse apostolic ministry. Some, uh, Hey, sister Latina, God bless you. Some re refuse the ministry that would, would break them through. But listen, I'm, let me get back over here. I ain't going to go, go bear. I ain't going to go over there. The spirit of Gaza must be broken off of you. 
Period. It must be broken. No compromise. Uh, we're going to renounce the rejection. We're going to renounce uh, the rebellion and the evil uh, that we did. None of us is perfect. And by no means am I telling you that you have to be perfect. You are forgiven. But the reality is cyclical sin and evil and bad habits. They withhold breasts. And, and many a times it turns us over to the Midianites. And it's the spirit of Gaza that withholds things from the people of God. All right. Listen to me closely. Sometimes if you're experiencing uh, check to check, there's no fruit when you harvest. Every time they sown, guess what? The enemy came and snatched it away. He keeps snatching your harvest away. He keeps stealing your harvest. This is a Midianite spirit. This is a spirit connected with the Midianites. Amen. Sorry about that. They are connected uh, with the Midianites and the spirit of Gaza. Some have walls and blockades there that are keeping them from breaking through. Amen. And so we want to deal with this today. Uh, and again, let me finish because I didn't get back there. Some signs of the spirit of Gaza living check to check, can't save any money, don't invest. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah, living check to check, living check to check. Amen. You not saving money. Uh, and many of us, we're not in poverty uh, because we, we just don't make enough money. Really, the reality is that some don't budget, some don't save, and some don't even tire. That's a whole other story. Or give offers. Some, the Malachi and Haggai curses need to be broken off of you. Amen. Uh, I just want to share this because we're wondering why we can't break through. And what you need is deliverance. From the spirit of Gaza. You notice that every time Israel sown, they went to do something. They sow the sustenance was stolen from them, which is the spirit of Gaza and the Midianites. Remember the, so guess what? When you sow, there's strife, there's confusion that comes, seduction, uh, pagan worship, uh, immorality. Uh, are y'all listening to me? It comes to attack you. That's what the Midianites is connected to. And it's got some of us in a cave. Amen. And some of us are living check to check and in poverty. But poverty, remember, is a mentality. You just need deliverance from the spirit of Gaza. We have to learn how to save. We need to learn how to invest. Are y'all listening to me? We need to learn how to invest. Oh, I see some sad faces. Amen. God's going to break that yoke off of you. Amen. He's going to destroy that yoke off of you. Amen. He's going to break it. Amen. So I want y'all to repeat after me and I'm going to get off here. I want y'all to repeat after me. I want you to repeat this prayer. Share this with your friends. Amen. Share this with your friends. You need deliverance. Amen. From the spirit of Gaza. So repeat this after me. Say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I renounce any evil work and plan, and assignment in my life that has put me into this place of poverty. I renounce poverty, the mentality, living check to check, and being broke, busted, and disgusted in Jesus' name, and no longer will I rob Peter to pay Paul or steal or kill in Jesus' name, and my finances shall be unlocked today in Jesus' name. They shall be loose today in Jesus' name. Say, I renounce the spirits connected with the Midianites, Compromise in Jesus' name, seducting spirits, strife, contention, confusion. I renounce it in Jesus' name, and I command it by the authority of Jesus' name. I command it to come out of you now. Come out, poverty, lack, stagnation, and I break and lose fire to the walls of Gaza, and I prophesy to your finances, and I decree that bull and prosperity shall be your portion, and with death, in my turn, I speak to these demonic spirits at the wall of Gaza, the Midianites, the Amorites. I command them to loose you and I command them to come out of you in the name of Jesus. All demonic mentalities come out in the name of Jesus, all the way out of them. Now, go in Jesus name and I loose the authority of the blood over you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, and I release uncommon wisdom. I decree in Jesus' name, you'll set budgets, you'll save, you'll tithe, you'll invest 
in Jesus' name. And I break the stronghold and call you out of caves, out of the caves, out of the strongholds in your mind. And I break curses of poverty, lack and stagnation, mishandling of finances. And I command the fear of success, fear of poverty to go in Jesus' name. And I decree that you are loosed from the spirit of Gaza. Spirit of Gaza, come out in the name of Jesus. Place a strong will that keeps him from breaking through. Along with the Amorites, come out in the name of Jesus. And I decree financial prosperity, blessing, and God, I ask you to send prosperity now in the name of Jesus. I declare that in Jesus' name over your life. And I decree in Jesus' name, that any malnourished area of your life shall become fat and full in Jesus' name. And I decree in Jesus' name, the day of crumbs is over. I, I prophesy to you no more crumbs, more than enough in Jesus' name. Bull prosperity is released in Jesus' name. I break the yoke of instability with your housing, living. I pray in Jesus' name for the release of homes, the release of possessions in the name of Jesus, the release of financial harvest, homes, resources. Let them be released in the name of Jesus. Let possessions be released to the people of God because the yoke of Gaza has been broken. In the name of Jesus. And I decree all spirits of Egypt in Jesus' name, go from them in Jesus' name. Every spirit of bondage, I command you to loose them in the name of Jesus. And I command you to go in Jesus' name. And Lord, we thank you. We bless you. We praise you for it now. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. Now, um, if you if you would, if you've been blessed by this teaching, please uh, PayPal us uh, at touch of the master HMI.org, touch of the master HMI.org. And if you're ever in Indianapolis, please come and worship with us in this beautiful city of Indianapolis. Please come and worship with us. Amen. If you're in Indianapolis. But I, I declare to you that it's over today. Amen. It's over. The lack is destroyed. Amen. Amen. Please share this with your friends. Let them receive this prayer. Share this with your friends. Please share it, okay? So God bless all of you. Uh, be encouraged. Uh, and I'll, I'll talk to you or see you guys soon. God bless you.